What's up YouTube, Ricky here to talk about some garage gym stuff. Today we're having a quick video on the Rogue Aluminum Collars. These, as you can see, are the red and black splash. Fire! Now, first things first, let's talk about the functionality because that's the most important. Obviously we want things to look cool, but they gotta work. Extremely satisfying click on there, and these things, they're not going anywhere. Even if you're gonna do an AMRAP on deadlift, they're gonna stay on there. Now, a lot of cheap collars, like these guys, these are about 10 bucks on Amazon. It sounds like they're gonna clip on there well, but eventually, if you do a couple sets, they're just gonna jiggle their way out, especially once they're a little more worn in. These are still pretty new, so they hold on okay but not nearly as good as the Rogue aluminum collars. As you can see, they're not going anywhere. All right, we're on the reverse hyper table here, AKA the review table. We're gonna take a closer look at these collars. We already know that they work well. That's not really a question. Coop did a garage gym review uh, comparison on pretty much every collar that you can get and these were the overall winners. But, now let's take a look at the design. So these are the red and black splash like I talked about. I think they look freaking awesome. They match the aesthetic in the gym. I have the base black Rogue RM4 that has the red nameplate. I have the red calibrated plates. I like red, I like black. It just matches the theme, that's why I went with these. You also have a black with a blue splash and then a silver aluminum. The silver aluminum is gonna be about $15 cheaper, and we'll get into the price here in a little bit, but overall, it does have a nice rubber coating inside of the collar that's gonna hold on to the shaft. They have a very nice click, and an almost dangerous unclick. What I mean by that is when you're taking them off the bar, if they hit your thumb, it does actually kind of hurt, so you do need to be careful with that. But, I've been using these for a while. They have a little bit of a wear on the inside, but the outside is holding up very nicely. They are extremely compact. They barely weigh anything, so you can put them in your gym bag. If you are gonna go to the gym, you can take them with you, throw them on there, that's what I do. But overall, I love the design of these. This one has a little bit more wear. On the inside, not a big deal, because the outside's still looking fresh. Okay, so the one thing we haven't talked about yet, I just briefly touched on the color difference, is the price. So these aren't gonna be a cheap collar. With the upgraded finish, they're $65, last time I checked on Rogue's website. The plain silver aluminum is 50. Do, do I think the extra color is worth the $15? Absolutely, but also, we know I'm a little bit extra sometimes. The big thing you want to consider is, is the $65, $50 to $65 collar worth the difference over these guys, the kind of no-name Amazon collar that you can get for 10 bucks? Short answer, absolutely. At first, when you throw this on a barbell, it clips on there okay. It doesn't really go anywhere until you start doing some AMRAP deadlifts and that type of thing, something where you're slamming the bar around a little bit. But the durability or the lifespan of these it's not gonna be very much. Let's be honest, they're not very fun to use, they don't look cool, uh, and they don't last very long. You're gonna use it for a couple months, they're gonna wear out, they're gonna start sliding off the bar, and then you're gonna have to get another pair. Fast forward a couple months, you've already bought three or four, maybe even five of those, or you could have just got these to begin with, and then you're not buying another pair. Plus, they look way cooler, and they just function better. So, if it's in your budget, I would absolutely recommend the Rogue Aluminum Collars. I'll try to put a link down there in the description, but if not, just go to Rogue's website. You'll find them there. So that concludes our review of the Rogue Aluminum Collars. If you found this video any bit helpful, or even if you didn't, just hit the like button down below, comment and subscribe, turn that little bell on so you know when I post. I am gonna be posting more frequently. I'm shooting for Monday, Wednesday reviews, Friday a little bit bigger. Uh, discussion topic type garage gym video. So stick around because there's a lot more coming.